morning, we are in Kyoto and our first agenda for the day was actually to go see the Momiji Tunnel, which isn't too hard. I'll put the entire itinerary down below so you can see exactly which parts you liked and which parts you did so you can include it in your own itinerary. We're now in Kurama and Kurama has this legend of this Japanese deity. I think it's called a Tengu, but I will probably insert the photo. I feel like I'm in Pokemon Gold where they go to that town that looks like Kyoto. Ne? <laughs> so now we're gonna do a very, very short hike up Mount Kurama. We cheated because we took the cable car. It's fine, we're not in hiking gear anyway. So yeah, again, I'm so out of breath. I don't know how long this is gonna take me. Maybe 30 minutes, maybe. The views spectacular. So that took a lot shorter than expected. We aren't at the top of the mountain, but I think this is the main shrine. So we're gonna probably toss a coin in, say a little prayer, and then head back down. I wish it was sunnier though, but you can really see the mountains from here. Like, we're so high up. Shogo. He was too shy to talk and be part of the vlog, but he wanted to be in it somehow, so that's his way of being in the vlog. Now we're back to central Kyoto and we're gonna go have a really late breakfast because I think we're still gonna eat lunch later. Or like one comment I have about Kyoto is that there's so many good places to eat and so many things to see that even if you try to compact it and like put it all in one trip, it's impossible. There's just always a new cafe, there's always something new to see. Um, not as much as Tokyo, but definitely for Kyoto, it's really different. So that said, we're gonna go to this cafe and it's called Mi 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 <laughs> Coffee House. And I'm excited, it looks really good and very homey. There, that one. Side. Giving another like. So we took a taxi going to Nanzenji Temple. Nanzenji is really crowded, and as you can hear, there are so many babies and tourists, and yeah. Oh but the views are amazing, though. Right next to Zanzenji is another temple. I forget the name, but we're gonna go walk there right now. And then I think that's basically it for our temple run today. After walking around the temples, we decided to go to the art museum. It was honestly by chance because I thought we rode the right bus, but when we got off, we realized we were in front of the art museum, so might as well just check out the Andy Warhol exhibit. Shogo's not very familiar with his work, but I think he'll like it. But it's a good thing we bought our tickets in advance, that way we don't need to line up. 
Um, but yeah, overall, it's so crowded. I can understand why a lot of people avoid Kyoto like the plague during um, the autumn foliage season. But you know what? It's worth experiencing once. So. Now we're having a super, super late lunch here at this udon place and they actually ran out of noodles and we were the last group that they could accommodate before they completely ran out so I was feeling very lucky. Hopefully it lives up to the hype. After this we might go to a cafe and get some coffee. What do you think? Dessert and then coffee. When you chew the noodle. Okay, the mouth feels. called D, D department project and I think it's like a lifestyle project company plus a cafe and the line outside is insane for their takeout I think their takeout is ice cream by the way the udon was great and it wasn't too expensive for two people so I would really recommend it what's inside what did she say I, I spaced out well anyway I'm excited for this when I first moved to Japan I really hated this and then the more I started just the more I liked it you liked it Walled in the woods. I mean, it's fine. Yeah, I mean, if we're just staying here a night. Yeah. I thought it would be smaller, but I'm impressed. So, as you can see, we're in our hotel room. It's really, really simple, no frills. The downside is that the bathroom is communal and the room is a little bit smaller than usual. But honestly, if you just need a place to rest your head, it's clean, it's new, and you don't really have to talk to anyone if you want to check in or check out, which I think is a plus. I was thinking about going to Kiyomizu Dera, which is probably the most famous structure here in Kyoto. Especially popular during the autumn season. But anyway, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update. <laughs> Yeah. 
morning. Today we're gonna go to Fushimi Inari, but first we're gonna line up at a cafe there that's super famous, but I only found out about it yesterday. So yeah, we're going. <laughs> so far from central Kyoto. I don't know why I had that impression. But then again, it's been like five years since I came here. So it's been a really long time, I think. We're just starting to open up. because I will just be a sweaty mess by the time we get up there but there are a lot of people for like 8 30 in the morning I say that as one of the people here at 8 30 in the morning anyway we're gonna go now I think we're gonna line up for the cafe and apparently they also have a light-up event here which is kind of cool construction <laughs> stop of the day is this place called School Bus Coffee. It was a little far from Fushimi Inari but since we biked it didn't feel too bad. The weather is also pretty great right now. Um, there is limited seating so you might be asked to wait uh, but if you go early then it's totally fine. Oh, I really love Vermilion Cafe. Like That was probably one of my top 10 Japan cafe experiences because you're looking out on this beautiful river, the foliage is there, you're having breakfast, you're on the deck with a blanket on top of you. It's so cozy and I would highly recommend it but only if you can stand waking up early because we were there at 9 and there are already two other groups ahead of us so if you're an early bird check out Kushiki Inari first and then by 9am wait outside the Million Cafe before it opens and you should be good. <music> thrift shopping and now we're back at the Ace Hotel complex here in the main part of Kyoto and we went to La Labo. I just checked out some of their scents because my friend who I hung out with the other day smelled really really good so I was like what's your perfume and he was like oh La Labo. So this is Tantan Coffee Roasters which maybe we'll check out in a bit um, but yeah it's been really fun. I got some stuff at 2nd Street. Didn't film that because I was a sweaty mess. <laughs> So I 
I've heard a lot of good things about Stuff Down Coffee. So I'm gonna try it, even if I probably won't be able to sleep tonight. Yeah, this one like which I like. Mm. Also, I bought their dough tag. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like that. Right, the Shinkansen back to Tokyo in an hour. It's insanity here at Kyoto Station. Like, there's so many people. But all in all, I think it was a pretty good trip. I think I have some thoughts that I'll share later on. And yeah, that's basically it for Kyoto 2022. Um, yeah. <laughs>